If you have your Cambridge IGCSE math exam in 2025, 2026, or 2027, then this video is for you. Assalamu everyone, my name is Saad and you're watching Math Lead by Saad, the channel where I make videos related to O-Levels and IGCSC Maths and AdMaths and A-Level Maths. So if you're new here, do consider subscribing and while you're at it, make sure to smash the like. I'm just kidding. If you, in the end, get value out of this video or if you like it, then you can like it and share it with your friends or whoever you think can possibly benefit from it. So what we're going to discuss in this video are the syllabus changes for Cambridge IGCSC Math, the syllabus code for which is 0580. And these changes will be applied from 2025 all the way to 2027. So I've divided this video into four parts. In the first part, we're going to discuss the change in syllabus as in the topics that have been added or removed. In number two, we are going to discuss the changes in paper pattern. Yes, there is a change in paper pattern. Number three, we're going to talk about the resources, like where do we get the new material to practice from? And number four, we're going to, I'm going to give you my thoughts if you care. So let's start and let's talk about the changes in syllabus. Now, if you look at the topics if you look at the old syllabus and if you look at the new syllabus you'll realize that wait a minute this is exactly the same the only thing that they've changed is the way that the topics are presented so does that mean that there is no change in syllabus no nope, not at all that means there is no major change there are however some minor changes so let's talk about that so let's talk about the topics that have been added so at number one, you have certs. So this involves the simplification and rationalization of certs, a topic that has been added. Number two is functions, domain and range. So functions, you might say that was already part of the syllabus and you're right it was but now domain and range is a concept which also has been introduced not in a lot of depth but you know you should have a basic idea and number three are exact trigonometric ratios so that means now you have to know values of sine 30 sine 60 and same for cos and tan and uh, you know there's a whole table for it which you will have to memorize i'll make a video on it to make that easy for you guys now let's talk about the topics that are no more part of the syllabus so number one you have linear programming okay now this is basically just a fancy name related to word problems of inequalities if they're no more part of the syllabus number two are uh, is box and whisker so box and whisker is a statistical diagram you know like cumulative frequency histogram which are still very well part of the syllabus but box and whisker is no more part of the syllabus and number three and thankfully congruent triangles are no more part of the syllabus that's one topic that I've always hated teaching so I guess uh, my wish has been granted and yeah here we are so these were the changes in syllabus now let's talk about the change in paper pattern so a uh, bit of a bad news here but uh, before i get into that let's talk about the old paper pattern so earlier there were two papers paper two paper four remember i'm here talking about the extended curriculum i don't think i mentioned it in the beginning but remember i'm talking about the extended curriculum only that's paper two and paper four so previously paper two used to be of 70 marks and uh, the weightage of which was uh, 35 percent and paper two used to be of uh, 130 marks the weightage of which was 65 percent and as far as the time is concerned i think it was one hour and 30 minutes and uh, two hours and 30 minutes okay i could be wrong let me hang on let me just double check and make sure i'm not making an error yeah one hour and 30 minutes and two hours and 30 minutes now though paper two the bad news is a paper where you can't use a calculator anymore yes it is now a non-calculator paper but uh, the weightage and the marks uh, and the time everything is now the same so paper four is also worth 100 marks so is paper two the time uh, you get two hours in both the papers and they're both 100 marks each so yes bad news i know igc students have always been lucky in the sense that uh, they've always had both papers in which they can use a calculator o level students not so lucky however they have paper one and they still do where they can't use a calculator so yeah it's a bit of a bummer but uh, the good news is that now you get a formula sheet yep you can see it on your screen you get a formula sheet so that means you now don't have to memorize for formulas for volume and surface area of a lot of shapes you know they will be given to you so that's it for the change in paper pattern now let's talk about the resources so every time there is a change in paper pattern like the one we have here what happens is that uh, all the material not all the material but most of the material kind of becomes useless and now you need papers as per the new pattern you need past papers as per the new pattern so the good news for igcsc students is that now all of a sudden o-level math paper ones have become relevant and they're similar 
to your IGCSE Math Paper 2. So in order to practice for IGCSE Math Paper 2, you can do O-Level Math Paper 1. Remember the syllabus code for which is 4024. Now, O-Level Math Paper 2 is still very much the same as IGCSE Math Paper 4, so you can do that to practice. And uh, But do keep in mind that there are still some topics in IGCSE that aren't part of the O-Level Math syllabus. So get a teacher to help you out or I'll make a video on it to make it easy for you guys. And uh, all the books that you have, don't throw them away. Okay, if you, if you let's say you have uh, an elder sibling, maybe gave you their books or you got them from your seniors, they're still very useful. But however, in order to learn the topics that have been added, you will have to get the new material and uh, I'll share a link to it, uh, the material that is endorsed by Cambridge. You don't have to buy all the books, just buy one or one would be enough. And your main objective should be to practice from past papers. So yeah, that's it as far as resources are concerned. Okay, now let me give you my thoughts. So as far as students are concerned, I think it's a bit of both. Uh, bad news is that you can't use a calculator, but the good news is you now have a formula sheet. So yeah, I'll let the students be the judge. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. For teachers though, I think these changes will make life a lot easier, especially now that IGCSE students have non-calculator papers, same as uh, O-level math students. So teaching them in the same class, in the same group will be a lot easier. And uh, you won't have to sort of give IGCSE or test IGCSE students separately. So yeah, I think uh, over Overall, there are pros and cons, you know, no change is ever uh, always a welcome change. So some people like it, some people don't, which is why I'd really like to hear what your thoughts are about the syllabus changes. So let me know in the comment section. Let me know if there's something that I've missed or something you want me to make a video on. So yeah, that's it. If you are an AdMath student, so remember there is a change in the AdMath syllabus also. I made a video on it earlier. You can watch it, just it'll be on your screen. And as far as this is concerned, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.